and welcome to another episode of Here with the Crates on Pastiche of Skin. This is the new month for Loot Anime. Thing. Look at the box. Look at it. Nice and deep. It's big. It's been fun to pass again to it. Every single time I've seen one of the boxes being in this ship, there's been something like squidgy inside. I'm not too sure if that's the case with this one, but let's find out. <laughs> How open sesame! Ooh! Okay, so this month's theme for Loot Crate, or for the Loot Anime, is Duel! D -d 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 duel! Yes, just like uh, Yu Gi Oh! They have to duel their life out. I already can tell what's going to be on this shirt, so let's bring it out into the wide! How's it going, folks? Let's take a look at what's inside this Loot Anime Grid for this month. So good to see you guys again. So good to see you. I'm, I'm feeling much better mood than the last time you guys might have seen me. Do you know why? Because this is actually a really nice shirt. Okay, now, if, you were, if you've been watching week by week, day by day, episode by episode, you might notice that I was a little bit unpleasantly happy with the Loot Gaming Crate, the Founder one, so let's hope the Loot Anime redeems it for this month with the dual scene. So what is it this time? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! That is awesome! That works for me. And whenever they said duel, I hoped it would have to be Godzilla versus somebody. But yeah, man. That's not exactly Godzilla, but it's not also exactly Ultraman. It's not exactly Jet Jaguar. Whatever it is, it's Kaiju versus Man. I like that. I like that design. That's, that's a t-shirt I would buy off a shelf. No problem at all. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Brilliant vivid colors. Really, really nice print job done. I like the frayed edges rather than actually being too tidy. What is it here at the bottom? Oh, it is Ultraman Gaia. So it is actually Ultraman. That is a proper Ultraman. Oh, so this is actually proper Ultraman merch. It isn't like a Loot Crate design. So it did. Maybe it's because they've changed Ultraman and I haven't seen it in a good few years. Um, I was a huge fan of it back when I was a kid. The Kaiju movies, the, any of that stuff from back in the day. Gamera. Oh. Smartex. Okay. So I actually thought it might be like a branded demon. Smartex, they do, their material is nice. I actually like the feel, good thickness. Um, doesn't feel too light and easily stretched. The print job is amazing. And the grey shirt? Yeah, I, that, I am I am so wearing that. I want to put, I want to take this shirt off that I actually like and put this shirt on because it's that nice. That is really, really good. I'm so happy with it. Can I, like, I, look great. Sometimes their t-shirts are hit, sometimes they're miss. This time is an absolute goddamn hit. I am so pleased with that. Oh, yeah. Now that is, that is so going into my rotation of shirts. So let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, let's see, right, we're gonna jump and grab this first. So what is this? Yu-Gi-Oh! Socks. Uh, what did I goddamn say the last time? Now, I'm sure this crate was made before that video went out because it's like days apart, but God damn it! Socks! Why are these not in the level up? Why are they not giving these for level up? Why are they? Why are these loot crate suits? I am telling you, that's exactly what's happened. They've actually back, they've gathered so many socks for the level up, and level up isn't doing as well as they had hoped. I think, and they're pushing these into the crates. That is garbage. I am. Mm, mm, I'm not even. I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan either. I mean, I could imagine that being. Suppose because this is anime specific, and these are in bright and vivid socks. I mean, look, they, they go well with these. They go well with these shoes. But outside of that. Designed by fans for fans. Yes! Okay, moving on to the next thing. What do I got here? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney? Hmm. Hmm. I'm intrigued. It's a. Okay. <laughs> For, for a second there, I was like going like, well, are they just giving me a briefcase? But I'm almost sure this has something inside it. What is this? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You did not, you did not give, oh, oh, I was worried there for a second. I thought they were actually giving me a briefcase with no. That's it. That's, that's all it is. Is attorney, Phoenix Wright. Briefcase. With um, a damaged edge on it. Obviously, because of a. It's very heavy use in court laws of law. Terribly, terribly made. Another Loot Crate exclusive from Capcom. So. 
Yeah. Empty. The hinges are stiff. The leather is coming off where it's been taped down. The clips to close it are not aligned. Um, Loot Crate, you need to stop taking stuff from Capcom. You really, really do. After last week's uh, Shadow Law pin and this. Let's see what else is in the crate. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to actually lose the will now. Good anime. I'm almost sure. This is another Loot Crate exclusive. I'm almost sure this is. Yeah, it is. Jo Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. Look. Here's Jojo. Jojo. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. There he is. Main character. Baseball cap. So, um. Yeah. Baseball caps look and feel weird on me. Um, so yeah, I, I should probably show it a little bit more first. Uh, so there's actually designs of the characters in the brim underneath. And on the front, there's actually the logo. And this is, it's a nicely stitched together uh, hat. It does have a wee brim protector on the inside there, which I'll take out after this. Um, yeah, um, I need to take that too far the size because yeah that's the only way it's gonna fit comfortably there we go these caps kind of sit weird because of my big ears and <laughs> domish head but um yeah that, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm not as excited now let's let's see what like it's jojo's bizarre adventure uh really interesting series uh really interesting game uh i played it for the first time i think probably back in the Dreamcast days, would have been the first JoJo's Bizarre Adventure I would have played, which would have been a, a arcade clone or a clone of the arcade game on the Dreamcast because it did pull off really good two D fighters. There was um other versions of it about. I'm pretty sure the PlayStation as well, but I think the Dreamcast one was the closest at the time. It was one that I, the one I always noticed and I knew it was kind of reasonably well known, but also was because of like what the hell is a bizarre adventure? Um, there've been a bunch of ones that came out lately. Uh, there was one that was out on the uh, PS3 and PS4, and um, it was fun, but um, it's a game series I haven't really got into. They, they're they 2D fighters that actually just have insane uh, uh, special attacks and stuff, and um, if you haven't seen the show, go check it out, because it's one of those bizarre animes that has like, stood the test of time by being remade and redone over and over again, mostly because of just like the, the sheer bizarreness of the character design. If you like bizarre character design, if you're a big fan of One Piece, I think you'd enjoy Jojo. That's probably the best way I could describe it, and the reason why you might enjoy it is because of that. Like, if you like the, if you like A, you will probably like B. So, um, go and give that a check out. Back into the grid here, let's see what else we got. Um, Super Fight, the anime deck 2. Okay, what's this? Uh, from Mewtwo to Hello Kitty, the anime deck 2 adds 100 new enemy inspired characters and powers to Super Fight, the game of absurd arguments. This deck can be played on its own or mixed with any other Super Fight deck. So grab your friends, it's time to d -d 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 duel! Okay. So this, um. This appears to be a tabletop card game, a full deck of it, uh, which is cool. If this is in any way in the vein of kind of like. Uh, Cards Against Humanity, but just anime themed. That'd be interesting. But let's take a quick look at what's inside the contents. So, Super Fight, a bunch of blank cards in here. Another regular weapons. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, this feels kind of like. <laughs> yeah. So, it feels like a um, kind of Cards Against Humanity style card game. Uh, separate the white black cards, uh, the white black cards characters, black black cards attributes, so characters and attributes, and then you pick a show, and everyone turns over the cards and see what the funniest answer is. So you have characters who like have Mewtwo, Haruhai, Mech Pilots, Bobo, 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 
Shinji Akari, uh, the information broker, school councils, transfer students, cute robot girl. There's a bunch of generic ones in here, as well as characters you know, like Space Dandy, uh, Kendo Team, Bird School Teacher, Lelouch, Piccolo, uh, Two Bears Disguised as Humans, <laughs> there's <laughs> Vampire Hunter D, Satsuki, Guts. So there's a, and a Fusion cards as well. Like, there's a whole bunch of cool characters and stuff. And like, this will be good fun. Um, I might actually sit down and have a game of Super Fight with a couple of friends of mine and see how that goes. If it's actually really enjoyable, we might make it a thing here at least. I'll, I'll do at least one video with the guys and see if they're up for a game of Super Fight. Um, see if that's how well it goes down. Because one thing I always like to do would actually be uh, record a tabletop session. Because um, I do play a bit in D&D &D and I do play a lot of card games and tabletop games with friends. So that would be good fun. This will be added to our stack for the next time. Um, kind of wish I hadn't torn that halfway through so I'd keep the deck safe. But Super Fight 2. That's actually put me in a better mood. That's actually more stuff like this. Look, create. Um, if you can go to the bother of getting someone like this, like this super fight deck, you can do better with your contents. This is actually something that people can replay, will have fun with, and will actually have a lot of interest for people to go and buy other decks by super fight if it's actually a fun game. That's that was actually that was a good choice. Um, you're redeeming yourselves. You're redeeming yourselves with this crit. I'm actually not too upset with it. So what's next is our typical little phone charm that we always have on our uh, anime crates. This one, of course, drew a dual theme, so white hand, black hand, uh, different crates, or different, different crates, different sides, white hat, black hat, you know, the old cowboy and western thing. But uh, yeah, dual themed, understandable, kind of very similar to the actual theming of the crate. Nice, I like the design on it. Uh, it looks pretty nicely put together, as always. Um, their pins are usually pretty well designed. The artists that they have to come in and do their stuff is really, really talented, and I can't dispute that in any way, shape, or form. Like that, fair play to them. So, of course, with the loot anime, there's never a book, uh, book, 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 book. There's never a booklet that actually has all the um, contents of the crate on it. It actually has a poster instead. And this month's poster, of course, being Duel, is actually introducing a new character to uh, Lucha or Luchan, uh, Luchan versus uh, somebody else. I don't know what they've called her. I think they just call her Rival Chan. So Lu Chan and Rival Chan are having a fight out here. Of course, dressed both as essentially uh, Sakura and um, what do you call Karen? Karen and Sakura from Street Fighter, or as uh, Lily and Asuka from Tekken. You know, like that comparable two schoolgirls who dislike each other from different schools, uniform kind of thing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And on the back of it, of course, is our contents. We have. The exclusive dual phone charm. They have the exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! Crew socks. We have an exclusive Gaia tea, which, yeah, I mean, now whenever I look back over this, uh, the Phoenix Radius Attorney business card case. So that's what it's meant to be, a business card case. Alright, I can see I can see it being an important thing. I, 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 to be honest, I would not want to give a business card out of, a, out of something that was that badly made. I wouldn't. If they actually had gone with just a typical basic steel case, with just an etching of Phoenix Wright on the outside of it, or even just the logo off of his uh, his lawyer license, that would have been awesome. But because they went for the, the faux leather, it feels and looks tacky in a lot of places. Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Snapback Hat, Super Fight Anime Deck 2. So, all in. You know what? I, I, got, I got pretty angry about that Capcom thing and the socks. But all in. This is a much better crate than Luke Gaming was for its founder kit. Duel, all as an end up, I'm I'm not disappointed in this. This isn't this isn't a bad selection. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm wearing the hat, and I will pro I probably will actually wear this hat until it's destroyed. I I don't wear hats that often just because I mean I'm bald headed. I'm not protecting hair or anything. There's no real point. Um, the socks actually match my shoes that I'm wearing, so <laughs> why wouldn't I wear them? Actually, if I was going to put them all together, it'd actually be look pretty nice. Uh, the t-shirt, I fucking love that t-shirt. That is a really nice t-shirt. It looks really well made. Um, I highly recommend that Loop Kit go back to them as a t-shirt supplier and get more t-shirts made up by them because that was a really nice print. Good, vivid, bright colors. Um, well printed in. Looks like it'll last. Uh, the material on the shirts is really nice and not too thick, but reasonably thick, and will actually last a bit, and don't look like they're going to stretch too bad. Um, they they didn't knock it out of the park for me, but they made it 
a good crate. This is actually like, I mean, normally you actually have crates where you just kind of might be one item that you really enjoy. This one had at least two. And even then, the other stuff, I probably shouldn't be quite so angry about. I think it's just like residual shit left over from the last one. But um, yes, this month's theme was da -da 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 Duel. So you actually have a dueling kind of, well actually it's one of the cool things that this box does actually almost work out. It's a nice the right size. Now, I'm looking at it going like, is this actually box size good enough to actually play Smart Fight off, or Card Fight off, or Super Fight Card Game off, or TCG? But it actually looks like an arena for a dueling grounds, uh, card dueling grounds. So yeah, this is actually a nice design. Loot Crate. Duel was a success. Well done, Lou Anime. Um, you took me out of being a bad mood and put me into a better mood because, you know what? I'm wearing your hat and I'm, it's growing on me. The shirt I'm looking forward to wearing. The card game I want to play with my friends and I will tell my friends about it because of it. Yeah, well done, Loot Crate. You've, uh, or Loot Anime, you've actually done a really good job this time. I will be making sure to sing your praises whenever this video goes up, so two thumbs up. Thank you very much. This has actually been another video from Passage Skip. Doing an unboxing of Loot Anime for the month of March or April? I'm pretty sure this is the April kid. You was April, yeah? Right? I'm pretty sure it was April. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you very much for watching, and I will hope to see you all in the next video. Mm, bye bye